traditional brake control systems introduce uh, multiple boxes. That's one really unique change in the Audi e-tron. And we have this one box design of our brake control unit. My name is Marco Hörter. I'm a project leader of the brake control unit of the Audi e-tron. We start with the brake pedal. The brake pedal is pressed by the, the driver itself and then it is mechanically linked to our uh, brake system. Our ECU, our software on our system, manage the handshake between the electrical engine as a brake actuator and the friction brake. So we uh, sense every driving maneuver and then we decide on our software if we use either the electrical engine to brake the car, or on the other hand, uh, we can use the friction brake to stop the car in different maneuvers. The Audi e-tron gives you a lot of options. You don't have to change your driving style completely to get the optimal range of the car. My name is Michael Wein, and I'm uh, responsible for recuperation within the Audi e-tron. Depending on the driving cycle and the driving style, but about 20 to 30 percent of the range is done by the recuperation system. You don't have to think of, if I touch the brake pedal, I lose energy, it won't happen in the car anymore. You can just step on the brake pedal and then the generator kicks in and does hold the braking here. The ECU in our system is highly sophisticated. If they monitor or sense a pedestrian, for instance, uh, crossing the road, then there is an electrical signal which comes from the driver system systems to our brake control unit. And this signal uh, tells our system, wow, we have to stop immediately because there's a pedestrian in front of the car. And that initializes then in our system uh, the brake pressure to stop the car. So in the e-tron, we can internally react 10 times faster than a human being on the signal. And that improves the overall safety of our car.